Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm here with Beth and we're currently at Kidderminster train station waiting for Kaylee. Today we're doing something a bit different. We're doing a Halloween video. We have got a pumpkin at home that we need to carve. We have two of these Enola Gay smoke grenades and uh, we're gonna stick these inside a pumpkin at the local park and get some photos. However, it's uh, it's raining a bit today, so I'm not too sure how well this is going to go, but uh, just stay tuned and see what happens. So when Kaylee's train got in, we met her off the train, we walked down to Tesco's and bought two more pumpkins because we only had one back at my flat, so we could have like a little competition and carve one each. And I didn't film any of it, so uh, here is us carving the pumpkins. pumpkins we got two large-ish ones and I've been left with the little one but uh, I don't know I guess I've got an easy job now haven't I? It's a bit more intricate but and I don't actually know what you're <laughs> doing with that but so um, what is it? It's to outline the stencil so like you use the end oh, of it. Oh you poke the end of it to Yeah ah. to create the outline of the stencil. Does it usually, say? usually you tape a stencil to a pumpkin. Oh um, yeah now this one, when you weren't using those stencils, we've got a Sharpie. <laughs> Go on. It's a very juicy pocket. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming ah, slowly. Ah, beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Being gentle with mine. There we go. There it is, look. Look at that. Hey! There we go. So the inside of that does look a bit gross, but uh, we're getting there already. Have you put all of it out there back in? I haven't put this shit. Why? <laughs> so I've got two designs for my pumpkin. Beth's doing a jack skeleton. Uh, Kayla, what are you doing? No idea yet. No, no idea I... yet. I think I've still got one of Jack Skeleton's eyes in my pumpkin as well. <laughs> uh, I've done two designs. I didn't know whether to go for generic pumpkin or dead. Uh, I've asked. Oh, I've asked both the girls and they've said I to do the dead one. Look really good as well if we... Yeah. Yeah. It just looked really cool. To be fair. So that's my pumpkin. I've made mine look dead. Here is Beth's Jack the Skeleton pumpkin. He's got a he's got a tooth missing. It fell out when she was carving it, but uh, yeah. it's looking good. There we go. So that's that's Kaylee's pumpkin. Yeah. 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 So vote for your favourite pumpkin in the comment section below. Just whichever one's your favourite. That one's Kaylee's, that one's mine, and Jack Skeleton's Beth's. So, the day that we were filming this, Cam was actually taking photographs at an event in Beaudley, and my mum was there, so we decided to ring them and see if they wanted to come and meet us to do the photos with the smoke grenades. 
and uh, and they did, and we got a lift to the park by my mum, and this is this is what happened. Seriously, he's dead. <laughs> dead. So I finally managed to get everyone together. Uh, Max is using Cam's camera. Beth's gonna model for us in a bit. My mum's here, driver. and Cam's Thank now here as guys. well. Max, shh, we can't put that on. It's illegal, illegal activities. But I mean, we are about to set off smoke grenades in a park. So, so uh, I'm gonna set the camera up on a tripod here, and we're gonna use the smoke grenades over there. So let's let's get straight into this. Everyone ready? Yeah. Let's find the pumpkin this way, bit. Show me. Yeah. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. This is why you wear gloves That's when you're using smoke grenades. Jake, this is why you always use gloves. I didn't, I didn't even notice that, what the hell? <laughs> Basically, as I put the smoke grenade in the pumpkin, I put it in at an angle so I could drop it in, and it just went all up my hands, and so now my hands black and purple, so I need to wash these soon. That black bit there, that's the smoke grenade, what's left of it. So next we're shooting Beth in some Sidemen clothing merch, and Cam, how are we doing this? Well, you'll see. We've done everything that we came here to get. I've got smoke grenade just everywhere now. Um, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a shoot with Beth with some more of our Sidemen merch. Yeah, Sidemen, sponsor Beth, Side please. Yeah, please. By the way, this video is not sponsored. This, this it should be. be. It should be. This video is not sponsored. Do not listen to Beth, it's not sponsored. No, we want to do, we want we to get want sponsored. To sponsored. We want to get sponsored. Sidemen, please sponsor me because I, you take my money. So, I, I want to get back. You want a bit back? <laughs> so, after we finished taking all the photos with the rest of Beth's side men merch, we also did a shoot with her with like a full on, if you've seen the show Riverdale, she has a full on like Jughead outfit. I'll insert a picture of Cole Sprouse's Jughead now. The footage, the footage was really dark. I had to use my flash to take a lot of the photos. But uh, I'm gonna do like a bit, just kind of talking about the photos and just what I thought of the shoot. I personally like talking about my photos because it helps me to improve on them and work out what I did well and what I didn't do so well. So with the shoot with the Cybermen clothing, we focused more on their new stuff. We focused mainly with uh, Simon, uh, otherwise known as Mini Minter from the Cybermen. We focused on his birthday jumper and um, this is this is what we got from that. I really like the shots, how we've got the smoke in the background and I, I am really happy with like just how well it all turned out. We've got another one of Beth just like looking over her shoulder. Uh, next up she was just kind of doing like more of a fun pose like what am I doing here kind of thing. We've got her stood, she was actually looking at Kaylee taking photos here but I really like that she's not looking directly at the camera and that's why I love that shot. And then again, we've got one looking over her shoulder. Uh, this shot, we were focusing more on the new XIX necklace, which has been released. They've released them in a couple of colours. And um, I'm not too keen with how this photo turned out. It's The necklace is a bit too overexposed, but I, I'm not too sure how to bring that down without bringing the whole photo down. So I've kind of left that as it is. And then I've got this one, again, showing the necklace and the jumper but as a portrait rather than just the products themselves. And then this last shot from the Sidemen shoot is of their new backpack, 
Now, this is Beth's backpack. I really want to get it because I love it. It's very spacious. You've got slots on the side for a drink, but could also be used for a tripod. I think it'd make a great camera bag, and I am going to look into getting one in the near future. And now, the Riverdale shoot. We didn't get as many photos with this shoot because obviously it was getting darker, it was getting very cold, we all wanted to go home, we just wanted to get these, sh these shots done. So we've got one as a front angle, well kind of front side-ish on angle, and I really like this. Uh, Beth preferred this one to another one which I've got later, but the next shot is one of her crouching down over her shoulder, she's got a custom made Southside Serpent's jacket, which is a jacket from the show. And then we've got one of her stood just showing the back of the jacket. And I think this shot's really cool. The, the background's well lit. And then the last shot, which is the one that I preferred out uh, to the first one, is the same angle from the other side. I personally preferred this one, but let me know which one of these you preferred, the first one or the second one, so this one. I personally prefer this one, but that's just my opinion. And I actually almost forgot. I had just finished recording and completely forgot about these photos. These ones are the ones from the actual shoot with the pumpkin and the smoke grenade. And I don't know how I almost forgot about these, but I, I somehow did. So these are what we got just before the shoot. So before the pumpkins are all black. I love that there was a puddle in the bandstand, so we got a really nice reflection. Uh, and I did two shots like this, one with mine on its own and one with the three pumpkins together. And I love both of them, the reflection is really clear. And yeah, I, 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 just, I just really like them. The colours, the orange really pops against the bandstand as well. And then we've got this one, which is where Beth was holding it up. This is personally my favourite one that I took. But then I also love this one right here that my little brother took. And I just want to point out that he is only nine. And given that he's never used a DSLR before until today, I'm really proud of this shot from him. And I, and I really do genuinely love this shot. And then the last two that we got, so this one of the pumpkin smoking and this one which was after it finished smoking just to show how black it's gone from when it started to after the smoke had finished so we're all quite cold now so we've, we've done the photos that we wanted to do we've done more than what we wanted to do so we are heading off home now so uh max end the vlog for me what, what do we need to say at the end so I'm at clothing no like and subscribe said jackie like and subscribe for max max slap the lens Slap the lens!